Story time with Fergie and friends. Hello, it's story time. Hello, it is Fergie and friends. And today we are going to be a butterfly. Of course, we're going to be a butterfly. But we're going to talk about fireflies by Carolyn Watson Dubish. Here we go. Hmm. Fireflies. It was two summers ago when I was nine and my sister Caitlin was six. Our family boarded the last ferry of the day. That midsummer evening, we're going to visit our great aunt Lily on the island of Nova Scotia. <gasps> Boat horns echoed across the water as the sun set over the harbour. While we sat in the cabin, Caitlin couldn't stop bouncing around. She had brought her bug collection and couldn't stop talking about all the ladybugs we'd caught back on the pier in Portland. Caitlin never keeps her bugs for very long. She just collects them, peers at them with a magnifying glass and then a few hours later releases them. Caitlin, Mama said, maybe you and Cassidy should go up top and let the ladybugs go. Yeah, good idea. So carefully we climbed the stairs to the upper deck. When we burst through the door, the wind was so strong we nearly fell over. <gasps> Cassidy, let's release them over there. So we walked across the boat towards the bow near a curious seagull. Uh-uh, uh-uh. As Caitlin turned the lid of the jar, the wind suddenly stopped and a fog rolled in across the water. The seagull gave us an angry squawk. Oh, that was angry, wasn't it? Then it flew off into the night. Caitlin gently coaxed them out of the jar. I remember hearing a faint tinkling of bells as I watched the ladybugs disappear into the fog. Oh. That's when I saw them, tiny yellow lights sipping all around us. Fireflies, Caitlin whispered in a hushed excitement. She cupped her hands around one and pushed it into the, her jar. I caught one as it flitted past my ear and carefully brought it over to Caitlin. <gasps> they moved like lightning and changed in direction abruptly, which made them difficult to catch. After 10 minutes or so, we, we grew tired and only managed to catch four or five. I was making one final attempt at one near the benches when I heard Caitlin grasp. What is it? I asked, rushing over to her. Caitlin was looking through her magnifying glass, looking very pale. I can't, I can't, she whispered and pushed the jar towards me. No, I can't. I looked at Caitlin with my eyes wide. Let them go, of course, she said. With trembling hands, she quickly unscrewed the lid. Oh, I wonder why. Hmm. Five yellow lights flew up into the mist and a ringing of bells filled the air. Pink flower petals rained down and covered the deck of the boat. Of course, silently, we collected handfuls of the petals and put them in the jar. Caitlin and I never spoke of the fairies after that night. Caitlin never collected bugs again. The jar of petals grew dust on her bookshelf. The petals never dried up or changed colour. They stayed just as they were that night on the boat. Mm. One day I took the jar down and opened it up. Bells started ringing like wind chimes in a, in a summer storm. Quickly I screwed the lid back on. Oh, the end. So we were talking about water fairies, weren't we? Oh, water fairies because, of course, what the fireflies were, were in fact, amazingly enough, fairies. Fireflies and fairies. Bye, everybody. With Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends.